Good morning, guys. Welcome to today. It is a bright, happy, amazing day, even though Storm is hurt and we can't ride him. And Gabby has a saddle that she doesn't know if she gets to keep. But I think it's going to work out. be all about me getting back in the saddle. Sophie just being wonderful and beautiful and happy all the time. Are you a happy kid? You're not getting back in the saddle. I am getting back in the saddle. When? I don't know. That's what the vlog is going to be about. So you'll have to wait and see just like everybody else. Hey, Josh. I love that she's worried about me. A lot of people are like, no, you're never getting back in the saddle. More people are like that. But anyway on with the video. Poor Hendrix has frozen water. When we first bought Hero, it's a supplement for metabolic horses for Stella. Uh, you have to, mm, it smells like cinnamon, doesn't it? Stop eating! You! Cinnamon, like cinnamon buns. Like cinnamon buns, like no wonder she loves it. Um, you had to put I it in. I don't like cinnamon buns, I don't like cinnamon. <coughs> Oh my God, now I want a cinnamon bun. At first, when you first start Hero, you have to give it twice a day until it gets into their system. So after 10 days, you start using it once a day. So we do supplements in the morning. All right, let's do it. So Willow does not get beet pulp in the morning, only at night. Willow poops so much. Ha ha ha. Today, Sam and I are hoping to get down here and do some renovations in the barn, but that might not happen because we have a lot of fun things on the go. Or at least we have a lot of things on the go. Hello, Willow. Hey, princess. Hello. I always come to Willow first. Uh, in the morning because I hate that she's locked in like that and can't see out. Um, I want to get our stall guards in the works today too so that Stella can have her stall guard. I hate opening this door. Guys? What? Um, this was hanging up in her stall. Ask that to tie it again. When she broke it, so. Dad, can you please tie this again? All right, let's get our hay ready. So this is the last night of freezing cold temperatures, hopefully. Stella, you kept your stall pretty clean. Good girl. Good girl. So, something happened that I'm super ashamed of. Something last night that I am really ashamed of and we need to talk about it. So, now that we know how much hay equals 10 pounds, it's easy for us to determine. So, that's a little bit less. So, then we'll add a little bit more. So that's about 10 pounds. And then we add some hay for Stella, or for Willow. And one. she gets, she gets that's one right. flake. I know, but these are really skinny flakes. So she actually gets two flakes of this that's kind. Nice. Our last hay bales that we got, they were way, way oh, thicker. No, um, so you can put that on there. So we're not soaking it because of the freezing temperatures, but tonight we'll begin soaking it again for tomorrow. I love soaking hay, to be honest. Anyways, so this is their hay for today. It looks like a lot, but it's not. Um, and so we're gonna divide it in half and give them half now and then half around one. These things are both horrible and useful. I like having them because we always can use them, but they always drive me crazy too. Yay! You got the ice out of the Kendrick's bowl. So last night, I showed a picture of Storm's injury on Instagram. It's where I go first before any place else. If you guys want to follow us on Instagram, um, you should because... Just tell it, Sophie. Because that's where all the breaking news goes down. Um, so I posted a picture of Storm having an injury and a young girl, she's probably in her 20s, I don't know, maybe she's a teenager, and she said left a really hateful comment and she said, you know, I knew this was gonna happen. You guys ride them every day, you overwork them. Yeah, we only rode them two times last week. We only ride them three times a, a day right now. Um, three times a week right now. Yeah, that would be overusing them. Anyway, she just used a lot of things that weren't true, a lot of assumptions, and she said really mean things. And so many people, including myself, jumped on her and I said, you know, a lot of this stuff is not true. It's not very nice. I reported you um, and I blocked you and you need to make sure what you're saying is, is honest before you, before you say things like that. And she got so much hate from it. And I know from experience in the past when people have said stuff about us that we've got massive hate and it is overwhelming for me, for an adult. It's overwhelming to get so much hate. I went back this morning and tried to delete the comment, but I couldn't find it. I'm gonna look again. Hopefully it got deleted or she deleted it because... Didn't you block her? I did block her. 
Oh, well, I don't think her comment would be shown. It, it was shown. But anyway. It's like after you blocked her. Yeah, maybe that's what happened. But anyway, the point is I'm ashamed that I responded to that because even though it was a negative, mean, awful comment, nobody deserves that kind of hate. And No, if it were me. Like 82 people jumped on her and replied. Yeah, but you don't know what happened in, in private because when when things happen to us, we get millions of messages in private hating on us and it is overwhelming and makes you feel bad no matter if the comments are wrong and the messages are wrong or right, it makes you feel horrible. By the way, I did not brush my hair yet. Yeah, I did. I didn't. Uh, but anyway, what I'm ashamed of is responding to that comment in any way, shape, or form. But we don't. We're not a hating family. And that's what I wanted to say. That I feel bad that I even said anything. Like, anything at all. So I have a proposition for you guys. In light of that horrible comment that I made. Or in light of the fact that I feel bad for jumping on that poor girl. For making a mistake. I have a proposition for you all. The best way to handle hate is to ignore it. It's absolutely to ignore it, not acknowledge it, because when people don't get any kind of acknowledgement, then they just move on and they stop. So I challenge you guys to pass over every negative comment that you see and completely ignore it. Ignore it like it's not even there, pretend it's invisible, and let's see if we can change the way our YouTube channel comments look and maybe we can keep our comments and also we'd all have such a good feeling inside for not contributing to the hate that's on YouTube and that's in this world. So Willow's, uh, Stella's not allowed to go into the arena until Willow's done her food and Willow- Stella will eat all her. Yeah, because Willow will not eat her grain if she thinks Stella's gonna go and eat all the hay. Yeah, which Willow's gonna go out first. She lays on her left side. I, I want to see them laying down. I'm excited to get a security system to, in see, place. She lays like that. She's like, get me to my hay right now. Look at this huge shaving. Oh, you laying down in your stall, pretty princess. Her neck has gotten a lot thinner. Yeah. She's doing so good. Oh, hold on. Yeah, my favorite thing about this horse is how she talks. How she snorts and snorts and snorts. She's a, she's a total woman. All right. Oh, Willow's out. Just let her go. Just let her. Let's just see what happens. You're okay. Willow, you gotta go the other way. Go to, go to your, do you not know where to go? Oh dear. Okay. Collision in the, oh look, she wants to be with us. Uh, Tony. You guys, the change. That's changes. why we all. Oh, I'm so proud of Stella. She did not even I take a bite of hay. <laughs> she just walked past. Because she knows. So hopefully this is the last day of putting hay in the arena. It might seem frivolous that we do that, but listen, it's pure ice out there and it's cold out there, and we want our babies to be happy. And they've showed us. Oh. <laughs> she, she said, "Come kiss me," and she just walked right over and kissed her. Smile. Smile. Yay. Yay. I wonder if you guys can tell that really this horse is not pushy. I know she looked pushy in another video, but she's not a pushy horse. Good girl. She wants to kiss you guys. She wants to kiss Let you guys. Let her kiss you guys. Stella is all about the food. All right, you guys, we are out of here because we have someplace else to be, and I'm going to tell you about it in just a few minutes. Do you think that Storm could rock the pink? Oh, look, there's some colored ones. Mom, colored. Oh, and there's white bug stuff there. And you buy a pack. Okay, we don't need that. Buy a pack. Mm -hmm. Nine ninety nine. Because you can do it twice. Get a couple. Oh, the pink. Pink or green? Which one? Pink you can see. Green. Better to see. Green or pink? Which one is that? Yeah, one of each. Let's go. And green. Cause... Pink because it's bright and he's a diva. And then green because he's a boy. No, the saddle, Devaku's. Um, okay, so now, yeah, that's right. We are we are Devaku family now. All right, let's go. We gotta hurry. Where? On the wall. Where? On the wall. Oh. When 
I fell off her horse a couple of months ago, I knew my pelvis was broken. I knew it before anybody else came there, and this is why. Every time I would ride a horse, I'd get this weird feeling in my groin. It would feel like it would hurt, and it would feel like there was a small separation somehow. It was hard to explain. And I would say to the girls, do you feel pain here? And they would say, no, they never felt pain. But every time I rode, I would feel this weird pain in my pelvis. B. B. So I read, sometimes when people have a disease called osteoporosis, where your bones become brittle and break easily, that even things like running can give you small fractures regularly. <laughs> So I always wondered for a long time now if I actually was having these little teeny tiny fractures in my pelvis every time I rode a horse. So today I had a bone density test. I wasn't able to video it. Sam said if I took my camera into the nuclear medicine that I would melt my battery so I didn't take you guys in with me. But I just had a bone density test and it will measure if my bones are brittle and could seriously affect the future of my riding. So hopefully the test back, the test should come back okay. I'll find out in a week. After the test results come back, I'll have a final x-ray to check and make sure that my bones are completely healed and then I will get back on the horse. I don't know what horse I'm gonna ride yet, but that is um, where my riding journey is at at the moment. I'll keep you guys posted. <laughs> So the next on our journey today is we're stopping in to uh, figure out an alarm system for our property, surveillance cameras so that we can watch our horses and we're going to try and get all that set up and see what we can do. So we had our meeting and the lady's going to come out and give us an estimate tomorrow and see about getting us a whole security system which would be really cool. Every time they ask us our name, I always seize up. I'm like. I don't want to tell anybody our name or where we live because so many crazy things have happened to us on YouTube, like crazy things and it makes me scared. So she asked us our name and I'm like, I'm like a deer in headlights and no, then, all you did was put your head down. Oh uh, yeah, I'm like, uh, <laughs> I did, I totally ignored her and Sam's like gives out all of our information and I'm like, oh, like is that like that's the side effect of having YouTube is that you get scared to tell people where you live like people ask me oh where did where are you where's your new farm and I'm like um I don't know we just moved there I forget <laughs> it's terrible this morning Sophie had to pick up Willow's poop with um, my gloves because it falls through the fork but what about this do you guys think this would work wait let me close it see if you could pick up poop Hey, give it I think that'd be cool. Me. Girls and I have been planning our spring break and we're gonna do so something crazy, <laughs> crazy fun. No, me first! No! 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 Stop, be careful no. of my camera! No! No! Man. No! <laughs> Wait! I need to... Hi! Hello, girls! Hello. Ooh. Hi. What was that? Oh, ow. Poor Stella. She's like, you guys used to love me best, but we still do love her best. Yeah, we do. Yeah. Oh, goodness. It is lunchtime. And you know what's so funny, though? Literally, we know when it's lunchtime. You know when we know when they're hungry? Because they come outside and stare at the house. Yeah, keep touching her and petting her. Stella, back up, chick. Back up. Get going. Got their food. All right. Lunch it is. Oh my God, Ooh. look at this, Mom. Oh my God. Lots of hay. Look at, so this is big for, hey. for Willow. She still doesn't love it, but we're working on her. No, it's because there's food there. It is really cold out still, and we're getting ready to go to the barn and check on Storm. But I have to show you what Sam and I did today. It, uh, like, I'm excited. So, you guys know we had those big grain feeders, or hay feeders, actually, in our stalls. We took them out because they were metal, and I didn't want our horses getting hurt on them. dun da da, -da. They are now my amazing barn table. So, some of you guys probably think this barn table is too big. Um, I'm going to clean all this up and put my buckets back under there, but I could even put our grain on top of the buckets. Um, we might use these because we have two left. We might use the other two to feed other kind of animals on the ground. Um, 
So yeah, I love it. It's really wide. I might even stain it. Like it's not a super fancy table, but I really like it. He looks, he looks sore. How do you know he's sore? So the lights burnt out at the barn and we got storm here. All right, let's see it. At least he's not bloody anymore. Oh my God, that does not look good. I have a sewing kit here. Oh my gosh. Oh. Wow, Storm. I should have got the honey like Fiona told me to. Oh my god. Gross. Yeah, we need raw honey. Storm is such a good boy. He's so patient. So understanding totally does whatever Gabby asks them stands there with his foot in a freezing cold bucket yeah you ask him to go faster and then it's all off this is a terrible winter so cold so icy this is what you do when your horse is bored standing in a bucket the only one he'll eat is that carrot flavor or apple carrot he likes carrot So I sent Sam to the store and he's going to get us some new stuff for Storm. The swelling went all the way up his leg, which is what happens. So we're going to kind of put some pressure, use, do something to put some pressure. You can see it like right here. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. And hopefully keep him in tomorrow until it heals up a bit. So he doesn't have to run away or do too much on it. Wrap goes in the middle. You go from the middle down and finish at the top. You're going to give a little tug each time. And Gabby, we always Should have to... Should we rewrap it so that... We're going to do the other leg. Okay. No, you're not. Okay. One person wraps both legs. Oh, because it'll be the, the same. That's right. Pressure is consistent. So I'm going to show you how... It feels the... tight. It looks like it's tight. I mean, not super tight, but... So the cottons take away a little bit of your impact. That's where it differs from um, polos. But I can fit my fingers and pull that off his leg. Okay, I like them. I, I like those. Okay. okay. You need to be able to know that pressure from both up and down. Okay. So he's going to stay in tomorrow and then we're going to come tomorrow. Start here. I know. Is that leg sore, do you think? Gabby has to put his iodine on still. Thing. This is the hardest part you might need a second set of hands for, Gabby, until you get used to it. And your hands might not be big enough to hand it off, that's all. So why do we start in the middle? Um, I don't know. To keep it in place while you wrap? That's right, keep the pressure equal. I don't know that one. I don't know that yet. So, yeah, I, I have a little bit of life experience. We always finish at the top of the leg. Hey, Storm. You want to even, like, when you're doing it, even pressure. Can you give it, just, I just give a little tug every time I get to there, just so that it keeps it in place. We're going to have to go home and practice on our Stella. Okay. If they're too loose, they'll be on his feet. It's because it's a swollen leg. As the leg compresses and has pressure on it, the swelling should drain and go out. 
So the swelling should go down so this wrap should get a little bit looser. So you'll pull it off tomorrow, you'll clean the wound, you'll re-bandage the wound, and you'll re-wrap your wrap on. And don't forget to make sure to hit that subscribe button down below.